Hi everyone, welcome back to the Fuji Guys channel. I'm Gore to the Fuji Guys. The Fujifilm XA5 is Fujifilm's latest system camera with interchangeable lenses, a flip up screen that's touch, so just like your cell phone. If you'd like to find out more about the XA5, keep on watching. The XA5 features an APS-C size sensor that has 24 megapixels. Inside there, there are also a number of those photo sites that have phase detect autofocus. What does this mean? It allows for even faster autofocus. Depending on the lighting conditions, the camera will either be in phase detect autofocus or contrast detect autofocus. It does this automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. What it allows you to do is to have even faster autofocus, so you can very quickly and easily move from shot to shot. The XA5 features a 3-inch LCD screen that's touch enabled, which allows you to be able to touch the area and capture the shot as soon as it captures focus. You can also have it where it will actually just change the autofocus and wait until you actually press the shutter button before it takes a picture. You can also turn that off if you want to. Also on this screen you can see that there's a film simulation mode. You tap on that area and you can decide and scroll through the different film simulations and preview what the effect will be from within there. Let's go back to normal here. It also allows you to capture selfies by rotating over 180 degrees. You can also then use the special rear command dial to be able to use the power zoom. To do that you first need to enable it and it's actually on page 5 of the menu and down the bottom of it you'll see a setting on there for electronic zoom setting. Simply turning that to the on position allows you to use the rear command dial to be able to change the uh, focal length of the zoom lens. So we rotate it up to 180 degrees, lift it up a little bit and we can actually use it to capture it. Now I can rotate the command wheel and actually change the different zoom ratios within there. If I press in on that it'll actually take the shot. The XA5 with the power zoom kit, let's talk a little bit about that lens. There's actually two different ways that you can zoom on that using that lens. First of which is closer to the camera at which point there's a toggle so you just move it from side to side and it'll actually automatically zoom depending on how much you've pulled it. Secondly you have the ability to fine-tune your zoom by rotating the front of the collar. At that point you can get precisely to the zoom you're looking for and take that shot. The XA5 offers a feature called Focus Burst Mode in 4K. And what that does is allows you to capture subjects that you would not normally be able to capture in focus. Normally when you're taking a shot, when you take a, a shot of two subjects that are at distant, different distances, either one or the other will be in focus, and not both. So you can see I've got either got one of the cameras in focus or the other. If I go in actually into 4K multi-focus mode, what it does, it actually takes a series of photos at various focuses, does it fairly quickly, and then through interpretation of the camera afterward, you can actually compile those series of still images set at different focus distances and put them together into one image. If I want to, I then just push the multi-focus mode. I can actually select which focus areas I want to have in focus let the camera take care of things automatically or select the range. In this particular case I'll select automatic and let the camera take care of assembling all of those slices of the images at the different focal lengths, focus distances rather, and be able to put those together into one image where the entire image is going to be in sharp focus from foreground to background. Once the camera is finished processing it'll ask me to save the image at which point I push the Q button and it'll save the image. Playing the images back you can see that I've got the original image where I've got either it's in f the back camera is in focus or the front camera is in focus but with this special image I've actually got everything in focus from the foreground all the way through to the background. The XA5 also offers Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to be able to quickly and easily transfer your pictures from the camera to your smartphone. And it's just a matter, if you haven't already set it up to be set up for the image pairing, go into the menu and on this third page to connection setting and then to Bluetooth settings, start the pairing registration. There is a QR code on the back of the camera that, uh, uh, that you can actually use your smartphone to scan that will take you to the web page to be able to download the app. Once you've got the, the app downloaded, all you need to go is pairing into pairing registration. The camera will connect up 
hit the uh, camera of, that you're going to be connecting to and now it actually has all the settings within there and it just wanted to confirm that actually it's got the date and time from my smartphone over. Now I've got it connected up. From within there there's a few different things that you can choose in your settings including the fact that if you want to you can actually have it where it will directly send all the photos as a 3 megapixel file after you've uh, taken the shots directly over to your smartphone. You, there's no need to start the pairing process. It actually is quite easy to be able to do within there. There's also the ability to track your GPS's. So you acquire GPS's through your smartphone and then using this very low power connection it will constantly every minute or so do an update to your uh, geo positioning so it will actually automatically tag all the photos that you take with the XA5 and have the correct location. The XA5 also offers the ability to turn a time lapse into a movie in camera. First all you need to do is set up what you want the resulting movie to be, what format the mo resulting movie to be in from 40 4K 30p, you also have full HD at a few different frame rates available as well. Then it's just a matter of going into the interval timer shooting and select how many seconds or minutes between each of the photos that you want to do and then how many times you want the shutter to fire. And we'll just turn all those numbers in and hit OK. Then it, you need to decide whether you want to have just still crude images made or you actually then also want to make a time lapse movie. And then it's just a matter of hitting OK. From there, when do you want the movie to, or the camera to start recording the shots? And you decide from within there, at which point it'll start taking photos. And uh, depending on the interval between the shots, it will actually sh uh, potentially shut down the camera briefly in order to save power. Just before it's ready to take the next shot, it'll power back up again and then be able to take the next shot. After it's finished recording all of the frames, you then have the ability to set a, a recording, at which point you then end up with all of those frames as still images and then the resulting movie file. The XA5 is a great choice for those of you that are looking to do your own vlogs. Reason being, it does offer 4K recording as well as full HD at 120p. There's an external microphone input to be able to put a 2.5 millimeter microphone jack in, as well as an HDMI out so you can actually record to an external video recorder. The other nice thing is the fact that because you can actually turn it around and put it into the selfie mode, you can monitor yourself while you're doing the recordings to be able to confirm that you're actually going to be in focus and that you're actually also in frame. And those are just some of the features that are available on the new Fujifilm XA5. Hope you enjoyed and found out a few things. If you should have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the comments section. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to find out more videos, including our opening box as well as our first look video on the XA5 and more. Look for us on Twitter at FujiGuys. We're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Until next time, I'm Gore to the FujiGuys. Thanks for watching.